and welcome back to my channel. Uh, ignore Shaker in the corner. Should I move him? Is he distracting? I think he's he's just here to vibe with us, you know? Today, I thought that it would be fun to do a little spring haul um, because I've gotten some new clothes as we go into the spring season. I am still furloughed and obviously the world is still not safe so I don't know when I'll be able to wear these clothes hopefully sometime soon but just wanted to share with you guys because why not who doesn't love a good haul am I right so let's uh, just get right into it I guess okay so the first thing that I wanted to show you guys is we'll start out with ASOS um, it's this <laughs> this white shirt that I'm wearing right now so it's super cropped actually it's a little more cropped than i was expecting but i did want a white crop shirt and i already have one but it's more like form-fitting i really wanted one that was a little more like boxy and loose and just comfortable to maybe lounge around with but still look, looked cute if i wanted to put it in jeans or with a skirt or something um and this was pretty affordable i want to say it was like under ten dollars Gotta love ASOS for their deals. It's made of a pretty good material too, so big fan. I think I'll be wearing this a lot. Even though I spill every time I wear a white shirt, I still own like four, like of every type of white shirt you can imagine, and I love just wearing a white shirt and jeans. All right, next up, um, I'm actually not gonna try on for you guys because they don't fit, <laughs> but it's these jeans from ASOS also. So, sad time um i bought them in my usual size and as soon as i tried them on <laughs> i realized very quickly they did not fit they're just a little bit too tight like i can't button them up so that's why i'm not going to show you guys but i was about to return them first of all i was sad because this is my usual size in jeans so i was like the quarantine wait did indeed happen and is affecting <laughs> my clothes. When I looked into their exchanging or their exchange policy, they don't have one. So um, basically I would have had to return it and wait for it to get to the warehouse for them to refund me and then reorder the same thing again, which I just don't understand why places are so against exchanging things. This is like the second time that something weird like this has happened to me. And I, is it just me? I feel like exchanging is so much easier and like you're not losing profit, right? Because you're just making an exchange. Like I ordered the wrong size. It was a mistake, you know? So that's a little annoying, but these were also on sale and I figured I didn't want to run the risk of returning them and then them not being on sale anymore and me having to pay full price. Um, that's just annoying in my opinion, but I, I'm just going to use these as motivation to work out because I'm definitely out of shape and I have not been working out. So these are going to be my motivation since I'm super close to fitting into them already. I'm sure that if I just worked out a little bit, maybe ate a little bit healthier, um, I would probably fit into them. So whatever, I'm sure we can all relate. We've all probably gained some weight in this past year. But anyway, they are super, super cute jeans. They're just this blue color. I would call this what, like a medium wash. High-waisted, obviously. They kind of like taper, it's like a raw hem at the very end. I do also find the struggle with buying jeans that are like cut to be at your ankle. Um, I always buy them and they're just a little too long on me and I'm like, am I too short for my size or, or I don't know. I don't know what the reason is, but I think that I'm going to have to cut them a little bit more because the edge doesn't really, on the model it's a lot higher up than it is on me and on me it kind of looks awkward. So I think that when I fit into them I'm probably going to cut these just a little bit just so they fit me it's weird I'm I'm like five six so I don't feel like that's super short but this tends to be an issue this is the second pair of jeans that it's an issue with but those are cute can't wait till I can wear those on to the next store the next store is urban outfitters and I only have one thing from there but it's a great thing <laughs> you guys know how much I love the band wallows and when I saw that they had this shirt, I just had to get it. I typically don't like Urban Outfitters band tees. Um, they're fine, they're cute. But, you know, I'm just like, uh, it kind of bothers me when they sell like Nirvana and stuff. Like, 
but it bothers me when they sell like older stuff and then people are like oh my god like Nirvana and like I don't know like I don't think Kurt Cobain would be happy with his stuff selling at Urban Outfitters you know what I mean and I'm also like Ugh, like how much do they pay like the band you know whatever it doesn't matter I saw this shirt and it was freaking adorable so I had to get it so we have another white cropped shirt but this one's different <gasps> How cute, am I right? Oh my gosh, so cute. It's um, obviously, I'm guessing, promo for their song, OK, which I love, such a good song. And it's like, it was definitely taken with like a fisheye lens and it's like them coming out of a car. Oh, so cute, I love them so much. <laughs> so cute. That's all I have from Urban Outfitters. I just saw that and I was like, I need it. And I think it was on sale, I think, Never mind. Uh, but a lot of stuff that I got was on sale. See, I got everything else on sale so I could afford all this stuff. All right, and the last store that I picked up some stuff from is, you guessed it, Backyard Roses. Will they ever not be included in a haul? Probably not, because every collection, there's at least something that I want. So, the ground shook for a second and that freaked me out. I thought it was an earthquake and I'm home alone and I got really scared for a second, but my apartment just shakes sometimes. It's fine, just California things. <laughs> okay, first up, I have this beautiful top. Oh my gosh, if I'm being realistic with you guys, like I probably wouldn't have picked this out maybe a year ago, but I'm in this new mentality of like, I'm 26 now and I mean, I'm gonna be clearing out my closet very soon because I think that I'm just holding on to clothes that you know I had as a teenager and that are from fast fashion brands and I'm tr really trying to be more sustainable, wear more like mature clothing, more stylish clothing, you know, invest my money into pieces that might be a little more expensive but are gonna be more sustainable and last me a really long time and like be staple pieces to have in a closet. You know what I mean? So I'm trying to invest in some more high quality staple pieces and Backyard Roses like is really all about that. So I have this one which I definitely think is a staple piece. It's like a really pretty like cream, not really cream, like a dusty pink cream silk shirt and it has these sleeves at the end they're kind of almost like bell sleeves but like it it splits like that just a nice little collared shirt I definitely think this is very easy to dress down with like some jeans and some booties um, or you could definitely wear this to work even and that was kind of my mindset is like if I ever needed to dress up for work or anything this is multi functional and I can use it for like I said, casual purposes or work purposes. So I just think it's so pretty also. Like, it's just a really, really pretty top. Next up, I have this top that I'm obsessed with. Uh, oh, look how cute. It looks very wrinkly and like kind of like nothing, but you'll see in the try-on portion. Um, but it's this really cute top. It has like a nice little neckline. And like, I don't even know how to explain this, but there's like some rouging and like elastic and it kind of flares out at the bottom and it has it on the sleeves as well and the fabric is just so pretty it's like little like drawn on roses it's so pretty I will say not that it's a complaint with the with the quality or anything it's not the fabric I expected it to be it's a little more stiff um and I have another piece that has this fabric and it's kind of more obvious than that. Like it almost stands up on its own, <laughs> if that makes any sense. Very like, I don't know, like can you tell what I'm trying to get across? I, I'm bad at explaining it, but it's still very comfy. It just wasn't exactly, at first I was like, this is a kind of rough fabric, but I understand why they did it. This is super cute. I actually, if you guys have watched my past hauls, I've told you that I shopped medium before at Backyard Roses and I found that some of their stuff was just too big on me, specifically like tops. So I took a chance and I got smalls and everything this time. Fits a lot better. Um, however, I do like, I guess I have freakishly long arms, I don't know. But I feel like it cuts it a little close in this. Like when my arms are just down straight, it's fine. But the second I lift my arm up, it like comes up. And maybe that's normal and I'm just not used to it. But like, I like to have long, like covered hands, if you feel me. So it kind of freaks me out a bit. It's fine, it's not a big deal. But small does fit a lot better. <laughs> so 
I would say if you're gonna buy from this brand and you're typically a medium and um, like maybe like on the cusp of being small, you should probably just size down because odds are it's gonna fit you a little bit better. So here's the other thing that I got that's in that same print. It's this really, really pretty dress, which I am also having a hard time showing you right now. Uh, but it has this really cute neckline. What is this, like a sweetheart neckline? Is that even a neckline? I don't know. It kind of reminds me of like a 50s dress, the way this uh, line is. But it ties at the top, so you can definitely adjust it however you want. And it, like, there's elastic right here that kind of like scrunches you in you know in your waist area and then it flares out with two little like ruffles so this is what i mean when i say that the fabric kind of like stands up on its own um yeah so so cute same really pretty fabric i think that all of these are really just great like staple pieces for the spring and they're perfect for transitioning when it's like still a little chilly or maybe it's like you know a nice 75 out so cute i've already worn it and I just think it's adorable and it's super comfy, so that's a good bonus. Okay, and last up, we have this adorable dress, which is also just gonna look like a floating piece of fabric. Um, this is a baby doll type dress, so we have like a deep neckline here, and then it just kind of comes out at the bottom, but the sleeves are literally the cutest thing ever. So you, it's long sleeve. And then look at the sleeves, guys. And on the other side, it has buttons. It's so cute. Like something about this kind of screams like, I don't know, like little woman, but fashionable. <laughs> I just love it. I feel like it looks like a little like prairie dress. Like you're singing the sound of music and you're like frolicking through the fields. It's really pretty. In the back, um, it also ties, so you can tie this as tight as you want, and then that'll kind of like cinch you at the front. Super, super pretty. This is also made out of a similar fabric. I feel like this fabric's a little softer, um, but oh my gosh, it's so cute. When I saw this one, I was like, I need it. And yeah, my mom will tell you, mom, I'm sure you're watching, she's either gonna be very happy with my purchases or question them because I'm not much of a dress person and I'm trying to be better at that. We're trying to dress mature now, remember? I definitely think I'm gonna be wearing these a lot more. They're super cute. I don't know why I don't wear dresses. They're so easy. I need to just wear more dresses. Yeah, I don't know, but I am super happy with everything that I picked, so that's everything. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Uh, I will have everything linked below in case you're interested in any of the pieces I shared. And I never know how to do outros. I'm awkward. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, guys. Shaker says goodbye. <laughs> and I will see you in my next video. Bye. <laughs>